evaluate this okay we so we have 17 factorial plus we have 7 factorial plus 7 factorial plus we can write 8 factorial as 8 times 7 factorial this is 5 factorial plus we can write 6 factorial as 6 times 5 factorial that's from n factorial equals n times n minus 1 factorial that's why i had to split 6 factorial as 6 times 5 factorial so we factor what is common is 7 factorial so we are left with 1 here 1 plus 1 plus 8 we also factor 5 factorial we left with 1 plus 6 and this is 7 factorial times 1 plus 1 plus 8 is 10 over this 5 factorial times 7 again if you could remember we can still write 7 because we have 5 factorial here so we we'll write 7 factorial in terms of 5 factorial which is 7 times 6 times 5 factorial yes because we can still write this as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial or times n minus 3 factorial so depend depend on the equation okay times 10 over 5 factorial times 7 so we have 5 factorial gone 5 factorial 7 gone 7 gone so we have 6 times 10 the answer is 60 so the same option option a in how many ways can eight people be seated if three shares are available Solution principle we, we have three shares available anybody can sit here and we have total of eight so if one person sits down remainderly six so our answer is eight times we have 42 times it this is carry one 32 we have three three six so our answer is C how many four digit number can be formed from the digits zero one two three five so four digit number we have one two three four so four digit number zero cannot start so we have one two three four available that is one two can start three or five here remember they say without repetition so if one goes in we are remember the zero that we did not use here so we still have four options that is zero two by but one has gone here so we remain in three three plus zero is four finally three and two so that's our answer the answer is 16 times 6 6 33 nice so our answer is b the answer is b we have to evaluate this that's 17 plus n factorial over 16 plus n factorial minus n plus 2 so the f we So, from if you could remember that n factorial equals n times n minus 1 factorial. So, that's what I will use here. So, I have that 17 plus n factorial could be written as 17 plus n times 17 plus n minus 1 factorial over 16 plus n factorial minus m plus 2 so and this 17 plus n and 17 minus 1 is 16 so 16 plus m factorial over 16 plus n factorial minus n plus 2 as you can see that the same here so we'll cancel out we have 17 plus n n plus 2 
So 17 minus 17 minus 2 is 15 and n minus n is 0. So the answer is option option B. So the University of Nigeria and Soka assigns two letters followed by three digit codes to students. How many such codes are possible if repetition is allowed? Here is that we have a total of 26 alphabets and total of 10 digits. So that's what we use here. So they say two we have to uh, they assign two letters followed by three digits code. So we have total one, two, three, four, five. The first three, the last three, the last three are digits. Why the first two are uh, alphabet letters? So, and remember, we are using multiplication principle of counting here. So, we have total of how many letters? 26. And repetition is allowed. So, any, any of the letters can come in. We have total of 26 alphabet. So, we have 26 possibility here. Again, since repetition is allowed, it's also 26. And coming to the here, we have how many digits? Total of 10 digits. That's from 0 to 9. So we have 10, 10. Repetition is allowed. So our answer is 26 squared times 10 raised to power 3. Because they told us followed by that's two digit two letters followed by digits, three digits. So the answer is this. Our answer is option B. We are, in this question, we are asked how many numbers between 1,000 and 9,999 can be formed without 1 and 2. So we can rephrase this as, because if you check from 1,000 or between 1,000 to 9,999, there are all four digit numbers. Yeah, so we can write this as how many four digit numbers can be formed without one and two so four digits so i'm using multiplication principle one two three four times 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 so without one and two without one and two we have total of how many digits ten digits that's from zero to nine but they told us we are not using one and two we are not using one and two so Without 1 and 2 means we have 8 left. But again, 4 digit number, 0 cannot start a 4 digit number. Because once it starts, it's now a 3 digit number. So we now have total of 7 now left. That is without 0, 1 and 2. 0 automatically because you cannot add 0. You can't use 0 to start a 4 digit number. So here is from one, from three to nine, seven. We have seven. Here we now have we are left with. Remember, we have a total of ten digits. So remaining eight, zero is inclusive. So we have eight. Again, remember repetition because there is no restriction. We still have eight and eight. Any number can come in. So our answer is seven fifty six. So will be 56 times 64. That's 4. That's 20, 36. 20 plus 36, 56 plus 2, 8, carry 5. That's 33. So that's our answer. Our answer is C. So we ask how many eight digit number can be found using only seven and seven and three. So we are we still use our multiplication principle here. So we have eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So times, 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 multiply, times, times, times. So remember only three and seven. So we have two digits to use. We have two. Two. So that's two, 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 two. At least that's two raised to power eight. 
Okay, now from the option. Okay, let's not take it. Let's check this. If you if you know, let's this. Now as I'm using, I want to check whether because since I have none, I need to check this before before I conclude. So this is four sixteen raised to over four, and this is four raised to power four, and this is two two raised to power four. So which is two raised to power eight? So they are the same. Our answer is D. So how many ways can eight prizes be won by four people? If one person can win more than one prize, okay. So we are we are going to use our multiplication principle of counting here. Total of how many prizes? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they said four people. If one person can win more than one prize, meaning repetition is allowed. So anybody can win. So you, you can still win the first prize, win the second prize. So anybody. So that's four raised to power eight. This should be. Okay, this should be. Okay, this is six five five three six. That's option option D. So we ask if thirteen permutation R is equal to thirteen factorial, find fourteen permutation R minus eleven. Okay, to solve this seeing thirteen here and thirteen, there is a formula that relates whatever that is here. If it's here, that is if you have N permutation N will always give us n factorial yes so what do you notice here our r which implies that r is n which is 13 so our our r is 13 therefore our 14 permutation 13 minus 11 is 2 that's 13 minus 11 which is 14 permutation 2 which is 14 factorial over 14 minus 2 factorial, which is 14 factorial over 2 all factorial. And what is our, what, okay, we can write 14 factorial in terms of 2 factorial, which is 14 times, 14 times 13 times 2 factorial over 2 factorial. So we have 14 times, our answer is 14 times 13, which is 2 that's one eight two. So our answer is D.